it is basically a two-year course it's an extended BTEC diploma which means you come out with equivalent to three A-levels and you can get a possible 410 UCAS points. It's one of the main ones we teach when they first come is forensic evidence and collection because what that does is it gives them a broad range um, of different forensic skills that they can look at and use. We do things like taking fingerprints, we also do uh, units in forensic photography, criminal psychology where you actually get into the mind of serial killers and see what makes them tick. You do your own psychopath test to find out how highly you rate on one of these scales as to where you come, which is quite interesting, the students always quite like that. You also do things like human biology which allows for dissection. Uh, we do lots of dissections, hearts, lungs, uh, like to get really hands on, all of the students really enjoy it. Um, some of them like to sit out obviously because if they're a bit queasy but everybody gets the opportunity to take part. They also process crime scenes so they'll wear full forensic gear and suits, they'll log in, they'll learn how to do everything that they need to do if they wanted to become um, a scene of crimes officer which is one of the possible career paths. So um, if they left the, the course, they could then go on to university, which is the most common route, where they would do a, either a forensic specialist or a science specialist route. Now, depending on what they did would depend on what they earned, but generally graduates would earn a higher amount. You'd roughly start at about £20,000 a year. So £20,000 a year just depends on which route, and then it's obviously upwards there in stages of inc increments, and depending on what they do. They could do psychology, criminal psychology, forensic science, crime scene science. Uh, we have close links with Teesside University, um, and we're working on our links to bring it even more so that they have specific crime labs that we can go to, and the students are planning to go on a trip next year, and we're hoping to get the students from Teesside to come with us on that, which will give them an idea of what they can go on to do at university, and obviously then potential earnings. Well, five or ten years down the line, you could be looking at working in places like America, where they uh, really... Uh, advanced in the use of forensics and you could become a specialist in your area. If you become a specialist, so if you became a fingerprint specialist or if you specialise in an area of brand new forensic science, maybe computer forensics, things like that, you could travel all over the world delivering seminars, lectures, training. Um, that's really the potential that it gives you. Obviously it's as far as you're willing to go in terms of work as it will take you. It will take you all over the world if you wish to do forensics. Um, it's one of the best uh, courses and most broad courses that's on offer. You really get a, a good introduction of all the core science and then you get the tastes of the forensics and this course enables you to be able to taste everything in terms of just having a go and then move on to a specialist area later on in life and hopefully specialise and then obviously that's when you can increase your earning potentials.